Today I would like to show you the generic text log alert rule. Our goal is to monitor a text file called fridaylog01.log. It is located in the C logs directory. If the file contains an expression error, it should generate a critical alert. If the server is the same, it should suppress the alert and the repeat count of the alerts should increase. In addition, we would like to have a detailed alert description about the file and also about directory. I am connected to my lab environment. Go to Authoring. Go to the Rules section. Right click. Create a new rule. Go to Alert Generating Rules. Generic text log alert and first we are going to create an empty management pack. We call this management pack Friday dot rules. We give it a description like management pack for storing Friday rules. There is a typo, Friday rules. Click next and create. Click next and we give the rule a name like Friday generic alert rule. And let's give it a description like rule will generate alert on errors in log files. So the rule category, we leave it as it is and we are going to choose the target. Our target class is Windows Server Operating System. This will basically hit all the servers in our environment. If you would like to hit only few servers, then uh, you would need to disable the rule create the SCOM group, add the servers into the group and create an override for that rule targeting the group you created. Click Next. The log files are located in the C logs directory and the pattern um, here we need to provide the log file name as you can see here you can use star or a question mark as wildcard characters. Um, question mark is basically a single character. We would like to monitor any um, file that has an ending star.log and if the file is UDF8 encoded then you need to select a checkbox. If it's um, just a regular ASCII or Unicode file, then uh, we leave it as it is. Click Next. Here we need to provide the expression for analyzing the log file. Click Insert Param slash Param. And here we are going to type contains and value error. What this basically does, it um, the rule parses the log file line by line and this ex expression here will look within the line for a uh, expression error. If it finds this error expression then the rule will trigger an alert. Click Next And the alert name is same as the rule name, you can change it of course. And for the alert description we need to change it, just clear it. 
we go to event da data, data item, choose the log file name first. Next, um, we are going to choose a directory. I'm also interested in the value itself here. We need to modify this expression to set here also for the first parameter. This parameter will hold our um, error line from the log file. And data let's select log file type so we have every parameter here um, this does not um, yeah it doesn't say a lot so we um, enrich the entire description and add for example the log file in directory as an error in a line like this and here we are going to just add additional information like log file file type perfect hit next and create here you could have changed the priority and severity of the alert to a warning or a high medium low whatever you want so we are back in the rules section I scope down to the Windows Server operating system class and here we see our Friday genetic alert rule Let's go to monitoring, click active alerts and there is no new alert. Okay, on this server I have a directory called CLogs and the file I would like to monitor is the fridaylog01.log file. It is currently empty and I have two other files which contain some text which I will append or insert into the into our um, log file which we are going to monitor the friday log 01.log here in the full application log.txt there is no error word in here so it's basically just some text line and the rule should not trigger any alert or so and the other file the single line log entry.txt contains one line which has the words fake error and basically this word here should trigger the rule and generate an alert okay it is just somewhere in this line as you can see okay let's do that um, and to do that I will use PowerShell I have um, the get content commandlet which reads the content of the full application log.txt and pipe it into friday log 01.log let's do that you see the content has been added and no alert should trigger. Now we will use the second line get content and this time we will use the single line log entry and add it to the friday log 01.log. Here we will use the append switch so it will not overwrite our current content just append the line to the log file. Let's do that Let's open the file and here is the line. Let's close it 
and soon an alert should appear not yet let's wait some more time and here it is and look at the alert description here it shows you the log file name the directory and the line which contains the error and here we we can see the log file type there is one more point we need to do now is um, we need to enable suppression we can do this by clicking the rule go to configuration edit alert suppression and I previously enabled this option here uh, event source so um, it takes a few moments until it it gets this new setting so I enabled it previously so we don't have to wait for it and if I trigger some more alerts the repeat count should increase here let's wait a moment and uh, if you're not familiar with this column usually if you install the console, scom console, it is, it, there is no repeat count um, you can go to personalize view scroll all the way down and here you can set a check mark and then you will see the repeat count column and in the meantime we can see the repeat count increased and everything is the way we want it. Thank you very much for watching.